Opening a coffee shop in the midst of a global pandemic and a statewide pause on indoor dining is less than ideal. But even a slow opening week at Wildflower Coffee is a blessing for the baristas. Four years up prior up to this, I was homeless. Just ask Val McKenzie. But now I got my own apartment. It's great. I love it. <laughs> and she's not the only one smiling because Wildflyer is a nonprofit social enterprise that serves much more than lattes. We just create employment for youth 16 to 24 who are experiencing homelessness. They are learning work skills and we do that for six months and then they graduate and we help place them into uh, mainstream employment. Carly Kammerer is a social worker who started Wildflyer as a coffee cart in 2017 after noticing a troubling trend. I just was seeing the same youth in my programs, like just being homeless um, chronically, and a lot of that just revolved around employment, um, just struggles to like maintain a job. That was the case for Val. I've had several other jobs prior to this. The 23 year old says before Wildflyer, she never held a job for more than two months. I was born with FAS, which is fetal alcohol syndrome. So my brain is kind of wired a little different. A lot of people are going to tell you, oh, you can just fight through it, but you can't really fight through how your brain was programmed at an early age. What makes this place different? Carly understands more. There have been a couple times where she has given me uh, mental health breaks because I was struggling with something inside my head. Even in my day-to-day -day life, I feel like I'm being heard here. I'm very passionate about them, not just like surviving, but being able to thrive. And for three years, her coffee cart concept showed what was possible. We were able to employ 11 young people through the cart, and most of them are housed and employed or in post-secondary education of some kind. Seems like a long way from a coffee cart to a coffee shop. Yes. How did this happen? <laughs> um, so this was always the dream. Last year, we actually very aggressively fundraised specifically to launch the shop. And then we were going to sign a lease in March, and then everything happened. So that was obviously put us on hold for a while. And after losing the space she planned to lease, good fortune finally struck this fall when Peace Coffee decided to get out of the coffee shop business in Longfellow. It was just like a perfect opportunity. They've helped us with training, walked us through like a lot of just how do you open a coffee shop and what do we need to be thinking about? And so we want to continue the partnership both ways by selling their product. And each of those sales will ensure there are more stories like Val's. I'm going back to school eventually and I will eventually want to open up my own business, kind of like how Carly's running hers where you have the homeless youth. How does that feel? I feel more accomplished. I feel like I'm doing really well in my life. It's a sense of peace and happiness that I haven't had for a long time. Now here's the really cool part. Carly says that the new shop will allow them to graduate up to 20 baristas each year through their program, get them going on their way, of course. Now, if you want to help out or check out this business, you can get their coffee from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Longfellow off of Minnehaha and 33rd every day. Now, you can also support them online. They're selling their coffee grounds. They're also taking donations online. Jana? That's awesome. It's an excellent time, too, for folks looking to make a donation to something great in our community. You talked about the obvious. This is not a great time to open a new business. Did they consider putting this on pause a little bit longer so they could open for more than just takeout? You know, they did, and it was kind of an unfortunate thing because they, of course, want to really celebrate and get everyone there, but that's not the time for this. But she said they did give them a chance to do kind of a soft opening. They can practice those drinks. They can get those skills under them. Of course, they can't get enough reps right now. And they can kind of build in that business as they feel comfortable. Jana. Yeah, that makes total sense. Thanks so much, Kent.